I'm going to show you how easy it is to use the VBOX Q&A board with full moderation on. Use the moderation feature in meetings, sessions or classes where the presenters, educators or organisers are concerned that participants might be offended or upset by people's questions or comments, want to remove the potential impact of disruptive individuals, wish to reveal questions only at certain points of a meeting, session or class, or plan to choose and share only the most relevant questions. First of all, go into your VBOX dashboard, create a new session, and head over to the Q&A area. Now Q&A by default is off, so just make sure you go ahead and press this little icon here and turn moderation view on. From here, you'll see two new buckets appear, needs review and reviewed. Let's go into a little bit more detail of what these mean exactly. The needs review tab is where all new messages will appear when sent in by participants. This is the first step of the review process where you decide what to do with this new message. Reviewed is the second optional step in the review process. Messages can be placed here if you want a second person involved. Off-topic messages can be filtered in the first step, so the second reviewer or host only sees relevant messages in this area here. Published is where all of the messages will be seen by the participants. If you approve a message and let your participants see it, you want to push it to the published list here. Archive is where all of the messages that have been received, but if you have chosen to hide them from the view. So maybe it's not relevant to the topic on discussion uh, or a person or if it's been a question that you've already answered. These messages will always be available in the reporting afterwards and nothing is deleted if you move it over to the archive area. Now, when you're ready, make sure you start your VVOX session so your participants can now actively log in and start asking questions to the Q&A board. If you need to send them the invitation, then you just need to hover over here and get this link out to your audience so they can go ahead and start contributing to the Q&A board. Your audience can then start asking questions to the Q&A board. Remember, as we have moderation on, these questions won't appear immediately because this area that the uh, participants can see is the published view. Now, all of these questions that are being submitted are going to the needs review tab, which we'll touch upon in a minute. Now we can see those questions have been submitted by the participants and we can see them in the needs review tab. Now, if you were the one controlling the Q&A board, all you'd have to do is make sure you're on the Q&A area and we can click on these folders here and then we can move them straight to the published if we want these questions to be live for all of our audience to see and for our present view to be populated with some questions. So as soon as I do that, that question is now live on our present view that we can see from our thumbnail view here on the right hand side. And also I can do it with this question as well. If we wanted to queue these questions so they were we knew they were approved, but we didn't want them to go live just yet, then we can move them to the review tab so they're ready to go live, but we don't want them on the board for anyone to see just yet. We've just have them sitting in the needs, in the review tab. This is a really simple way of doing Q&A with moderation on, but there are a lot more features and a lot more extra things that you can do with the Q&A board, which I'm about to show you. Now, let's say that you've got loads more questions that are being submitted by your audience. So we have 12 questions now in the needs review area. You have your hands full doing something else within this meeting or event and you wanted someone else to moderate this Q&A board on your behalf uh, who doesn't have a VBOX license. Now, all you have to do is go ahead and click this moderation button here on the right hand side. Create a new moderator link, which is a moderation display for someone who's helping you. You can passcode protect this if you wanted to, or you can just copy this public link into a new tab and as long as you share this link with one of your colleagues or someone who's helping you out on the day they can go into this needs review area and now moderate these questions on your behalf so they can push them through to the reviewed they can bulk select more than one question at a time if they wanted to and push them straight to the published 
or if there's a few of these questions that weren't relevant for the board, then you can go ahead and grab these and move them straight to the archive. So this person that you shared the moderator display with can do all of the moderating on your behalf whilst you have your hands full with other things throughout this meeting or event. Now, a really good tip is to uh, share this moderator view with one of your colleagues so they can do this not only on the computer, but they can do it on an iPad as well. So this is really handy for those in-person live events. You can just share this link with someone on their iPad and they can do the moderation right there in the room with you helping you. Another really cool thing that you can do with the VBOX Q&A board is sharing different types of read-only views. Now, this is really useful if you wanted to share a view with a presenter of just the review tab, which gives them a heads up of those questions that are about to be published live before they actually go live. So if you click this button here, create different views to share with moderators or collaborators, you can create a new read-only link. You can choose the message list. For this example, we want to choose the review tab, and then you can sort by the newest questions coming in. We'll leave the filters off and no password on there. Press save. And now all we need to do is either copy this to the clipboard and send it to our presenter or collaborator, or we can just open it in a new tab so you can see how it looks. And it gives a read only view of all those questions from the reviewed message list. So from this example, you would share this with a presenter to give them a bit of a heads up as to those questions that are coming in and approved uh, for, for um, about to be addressed by, and pushed to the published area before they've actually gone live to your audience. And it doesn't stop there because this is where Q&A labels really, really come into action. So you can go ahead, manage your labels, create some new ones in here quickly, so now we have a few different labels to our questions that are coming in. This also reflects on our moderator display, which we've shared with one of our colleagues to help us out. They can go in here when the questions are coming into the needs review area from the audience and have a look at these questions and go ahead and label them with their correct label. So these two top ones are recognition comments. This one is for the CEO. And let's say that this one is for the CEO here and then HR here as well. So all of these questions now have different labels attached to them. So when we push them to our published view, we can go ahead and head over to our VOX present view and then we can sort these questions by their different labels. So only the questions that are only the comments that are recognition comments will now appear because I've just sorted those We'll highlight that to the screen and everyone knows that we're talking about these uh, comments that have come in for recognition. Labeling also works really well with those read only links. So if I go in here and create a read only tab again, create new, make the message list reviewed. We'll sort by the newest and we'll filter by questions only for the CEO. So now if we create this uh, list by saving it, we can go ahead and copy this to our clipboard so we can send this out to our CEO. So if we open this up in a new tab now, just to show you the example, all of these questions that are in this list here now are only the ones that are uh, have been reviewed and approved by our moderator. They're sorted by the newest and they're filtered by the CEO. So there's no messages currently, but this is just an example as to how you can actually use this for all of those different kind of lists that you can have in there uh, using your moderation board to its full potential. There are so many things that you can do with the VBOX Q&A board, and I'm hoping just from this video, it's giving you a bit of an idea as to what that is exactly. Hope this was useful, and we'll see you in the next tips video.